You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a familiar face to uh, Greater Brockton, Lynn Smith. Lynn, nice to see you. Good Welcome. to see you, Mark. Thanks. And you have the Old Colony Elder Services hat on. I do. My okay. day job, as you, I jokingly say. Your day job. I know yeah. your other job is a, more than a full-time job for all the stuff yeah. that you do, and, and congratulations for doing that. We are talking about a wonderful agency. Agency helped my parents oh, with great. Meals on Wheels. Um, as a matter of fact, when my dad passed, I put it down as one of the agencies to give to. So I hope you got a couple of dollars from Wonderful. somebody. I, I get things in the mail for, I did like six of them. Dad taught at Stonehill in Massasoit, oh, so I put yeah. that down. Uh, the Holocaust Memorial. I've been getting letters. Someone the other day just donated to Dana-Farber. Yeah. It wasn't on my list, but who cares? Yeah. Um, but Old Colony and the Brockton Visiting Nurse Association really oh, helped us out. Oh, that's wonderful. So you are looking to talk about something called Giving Tuesday. I am. And you know, it's interesting because it's one of the ways, the primary way that Old Colony Elder Services raises money for our emergency funds. Mm -hmm. You know, we served last year 22,520 consumers. We answer about 1,200 phone calls a month and we deliver 1,600 meals every day. So we really um, are seeing our consumer base, our service base grow. And you know, it's interesting that someone told me the other day that in the Zulu culture, when you greet each other, mm -hmm. the greeting is to say, I see you, sawabona. Okay. And the response is to say, I am here. And you know, sometimes we see things, but we really don't see them. Mm -hmm. And I looked at some statistics, Mark, it's unbelievable. 6.4 million seniors live in poverty in America today. Mm. Every day, 10,000 people turn 65 in America today. And nearly one in five seniors has no retirement savings at all. Oh, you know, you just touched a nerve, Lynn, because, um, you know, I get people out there that think, gee, Mark works for the city. Mark doesn't work for the city. Mm -hmm. This is a private nonprofit. Mark mm -hmm. doesn't have a pension plan. Mark's tried to put stuff away, but not very well. Yeah. Okay, and there are a lot of people that you know, do you eat? Do you get your prescription? Do you pay That's your right. oil? I mean, there are programs to help people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a decent income now because I work full time and I have a second job. Mm -hmm. But if all of my stuff is based on my job, all, my, all of my insurances are based on my job, down the road, I just found out how important it was for my dad to be a state employee and have a pension plan and have GIC and have mm -hmm. insurance and have his Medicare and everything else because we tapped every single thing that we had and he was very careful about saving, yep. but at the rate I was going with assisted living and memory care, it was very expensive and I still have my mom who yep. is probably she, she's healthy. She doesn't have mm -hmm. any issues like my dad. So what you guys do is really help people stretch things and find the right resources and do all that. It's tough because you could be the best penny pincher mm -hmm. and all you need is one hot water heater to go Right. and you're behind the eight ball. You know, UMass has a gerontology institute and they do something called the Elder in Index, not the poverty level, but right. what you really need to survive with a little bit of breathing room. In Plymouth County, if you're 65, you're single, you don't have a mortgage, $24,500 a year. You know what the average Social Security benefit is? About $16,000 a year. Right. If you have a mortgage, you need about 37000 a year just to get by. Right. And if you're a couple, it's even more. So we talk a little bit about economic insecurity in the senior population. And it's exactly what you talked about. You struggle to pay your rent, to pay your insurance, to decide on your prescriptions. And all you need is one water heater or one furnace to go and you're behind the eight ball. So that's what our emergency funds does. We use them for seniors who are frail, who may be at risk, who are in an emergency situation, a life-threatening situation. We try to put as many assets together from other nonprofits to sort of pool our resources and help out. But sometimes we are the last defense right. 
because our job is to try to keep people living safely and in a healthy way in their own home for as long as they can. Exactly. Now, um, I know all calling, so the Giving Tuesday, I see a date on here. It says November 28th. Yeah, well, a lot of people never heard of Giz Giving Tuesday, but of course, you know when Thanksgiving comes. Right. And then the day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday, where right. everybody goes to the store right. at 4 o'clock in the morning. And last year, they spent $3.5 billion that one day. Mm -hmm. And then on Monday, you have Cyber Same. Monday, Correct. where Target sold 3,200 televisions an hour um, online. So it's spend, 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 spend. So some people said, let's take a break. Let's take a pause. And that Tuesday, let's dedicate that day to giving. Giving. But you're not limiting it to that day. No, we we you, you it's our only big anytime, fundraiser. Any time that you can from get. now till the end of the year, and we just want people to know that it goes to help the most in need, whether they might be disabled folks living on their own or the older Americans in our community living on our own. I, I had a woman, for example, who finally was discharged from the hospital. She could go back to her own little apartment, and all she needed was a microwave, right. a microwave, $69, right. to keep her going. I had another gentleman who had his whole furnace blow up, and that was a little bit more. Is that the I'm getting the cue. No, not getting the cue. I don't know what time. Oh, okay. Okay, I do have a question. Before mm -hmm. we forget, you said if we had time for this. I want to make sure we get this in. There is a new number for your elder abuse hotline. Right. Okay. One, of the, one of the programs, and let me just find it so I get it right. One of the programs and services that we offer at Old Colony Elder Services is what we call protective service. Mm -hmm. And that is investigating cases of abuse, whether it be self-neglect, whether it be physical, whether it be financial, whether it be sexual. And there is a new hotline to call now if you suspect anything untoward. It's manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's 1-800-922-2275. And I'm sure we'll put it up as a scroll on the sc screen. So what happens is that's a centralized intake department that's manned all the time and then the investigative part comes back to us to investigate. So Mark, if I take a senior out of an abusive situation, where do I put them? Right. I can't. You, gotta, you gotta, definitely got a lot of work so to do. So all of this funding helps us do those things. So oh, go to Old Colony Elder Services website, which is ocesma.org. You can donate safely online. You can send us a check to 144 Main Street, Brockton, 02301. And the good old phone number is 508-584-1561. And you're even on Facebook. And we're on Facebook. So we're just asking folks, you know, over the holidays, when you look at your own family, if you could just have an attitude of gratitude and maybe help us out. And we have a sponsor who's going to match the first thousand dollars in donations dollar for dollar. Okay, there you go. It's all good. We'll, we'll bring you back as we normally do for this and all Great. the community stuff you do. Thanks, Lynn. Great. Thanks, Mark. Take care. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.